Hey, good morning. Welcome back to our devotional reading in the book of Malachi, Malachi chapter 3, verses 13 and 14 today. Let's, let's read it, and then we'll talk about it. Your words have been harsh against me, says the Lord, yet you say, what have we spoken against you? You have said it is useless to serve God. What profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked as mourners before the Lord of hosts? So here we go. Your words have been harsh against me. And that's God says, you haven't spoken rightly about me. You just haven't done it. And they're coming back with, well, what do you mean? What have we done wrong? What are we saying that's wrong? Can you imagine that? God comes directly to them and says, you've not been speaking right. And instead of saying, oh, let me think back. Maybe I, 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 think, I think there are some cases we can work on. These people are just, every case is denial. You haven't done this the, the way you know you should. And then the people respond and say, Oh, well, we don't know what you're talking about. So here's the specifics, right? You say, what have we spoken against you? 14, God says, and this is what it amounts to, it is useless to serve God. Doesn't make any difference. Doesn't make any difference to be a Christian. Serving God doesn't matter. We've, we've tried it. We've tried it. We've checked the fruit. Everything it checks out that, there, that there's no result. Doesn't make a difference when you pray. Doesn't make a difference when you return a tithe. Doesn't make a difference when you put God first. Doesn't make a difference when you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. None of that makes any difference. None of it really matters. It's useless to serve God. We've done what he said. We've, we've restrained ourselves. We've walked as mourners. So, you know, the things that we know we shouldn't eat, the things we know that we shouldn't do, we, we, we chose not to do them. And guess what? What did it get us? Nothing. That's their attitude. That's their spirit, that it hasn't done anything for us. Well, friends, but following God does wonderful things for you. I mean, it, if there was no God, if, if this book was a book of fables and fantasies and, and there was nothing to it, it was just a, a set of principles that you can try, you know, take it or leave it. If that's all it was, and if there was no God, and yet if we followed these principles, just as, just as the way to live, wouldn't we have beautiful pieces in our life before we just expired and came to nothing? Of course we would. Being kind to others, helping others, uh, and here, not speaking wrongly about God. God is a merciful God. He sends Jesus. He sends his son so that whoever is willing can be made to live eternally. That's a, that's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Like Jesus dies on the cross for you. He pays your sins, pays for those for you. He forgives you your sins which you couldn't do on your own. He transforms you and changes you so that you want to be different and then you begin to actually be different. You couldn't do that. He does all these transformations for you. He puts your sins away for you. And he says, I'll tell you what, how'd you like to live with me eh, forever? What do you do with that? What a wonderful gift God has for us. It's not just forever, you know, like forever in a, in, a, in, a, in a four by four by four foot box and you're stuck there forever. It's forever with, with other people that are kind and generous. It's forever with other people who love you. It's forever to not be alone. It's forever to be with those who care and have good hearts because God transforms our hearts. So friends, this is a ridiculous thing. Well, what is it? We haven't, it hasn't been fruitful to serve God. What a, what a uh, stack of nonsense that is. We've walked as mourners. And you know the way it is? It's, it's, you know, you know the way it is. First the cross and then the crown. First some self-denial and then God will bless. Friend, we're not saved by our works. Of course not. But there are things that God knows we should do and things we shouldn't do. Can't we just try them out? Can't we just try them out? Let's pray. Father in heaven, these people claim they've tried you out. I am not convinced. Shape our lives. Take some time and, and, and experiment. Have an experimental religion, as they used to say. And Lord, show us. Show us what you want to do for us. You're not asking too much, Lord. Oh, thank you for Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friend, God's on our side. Let's be on his side. Have a wonderful day.